Callie Sparrow Grease, it is William Carling from Weeby Blogs, and Stefania has released her Eurovision 2021 song, Last Dance. Debin hey, William. This is very exciting. Our girl has matured so much in the past year, growing in confidence and developing her sound. I cannot wait to watch and react. Are you ready? Let's <laughs> yes, do this. I am reading on weebyblogs.com that this song carries the message that every end is a new beginning. That seems highly relevant during the pandemic when people have had to switch things up in their personal lives, when people have lost freedoms, when people have lost loved ones. Uh, there's a lot to take in and maybe this song will resonate with people as a result. In any case, it is time for a first watch of Last Dance, hitting parlay. Girl is going on a walk. This is a late night. Oh, the streets are quite empty. God, it's really barren. Mm. Drama. That is such a Dua Lipa shot. Oh. The water is rising. Top model. It's a lot of water. <laughs> Running would be a good idea. Go to high ground. Oh. She wants to live the dream again. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> this is the end. This is cinematic. Don't jump, whatever you do. Wow, it's like a flash dance moment. Ooh, a gorgeous horse or a unicorn? A winged horse. For the record, I'm loving this already. There's like a mythology vibe here. Saved by the flying horse. The never ending story, love that movie. Wow. This looks so expensive. And she's riding it so effortlessly. Oh my God. Midsummer's Night's Dream, honey. This is like a, an, an alien new world. Escape? This is so otherworldly. It, blending oh, aspects wow. of- I'm getting a Greek mythology Fantasy, vibe. but there's realism as well when she's crossing the road. Nobody on the street. That's Corona for you. He's rather strong. Oh! Wow. They look like Greek statues. The white marble. Rock and roll man! Were they aliens? Close encounters of the third kind. Good dancing. This is good dancing. Oh! Someone's water broke. The sun is rising. That bridge is building up. Something yes. big is coming. Yes. Oh. oh wow. And now she's glowing in their light. She's become one of them? Oh, love that. The lighting director here, the video director, the digital people. Oh yes, red light for stop. Oh, she's back on the um, screen. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did she dream all that? Fantasy sort of dreamscape mixed with reality. What is real and what is imagined? Even the font, this bold white color, like Technicolor, it has an 80s vibe to it. And the credits are rolling and the sponsors are there and we are out. You should have that last dance because you know what? When the world ends, a new one begins. And that's on period. What I love about Stephania is that, again, you know, she's youthful, she looks great. You know, she's got the body of a fitness instructor, but she's not sexualized. She's got other talents to promote. And you know, being that whole kind of like, you know, sexualized, you know, teen doll thing is not her thing. 
Supergirl, again, I love, I'm gonna use the word age appropriate, shoot me if you want to, but Supergirl was super age appropriate. It kind of, I understood her vision. I didn't connect with it, you know, I'm, you know, I'm nearly pushing 60. I'm not gonna be like, I'm a super girl, nana. But this one, The Last Dance, I'm all for it and I'm loving it. And this, I feel that marries my generation of 80s electro and fine tunes it for today. This is what I call future disco. This is what Sophie Ellis Bexter, Kylie Minogue, Dua Lipa, Roshin Murphy, this is the kind of sound they're putting out today. They're kind of revisiting the days when they were slaying on the dance floor and kind of re-spinning it, reinterpreting it for today's audiences. And you know what? I'm living for it. Can I just point out, Kylie Minogue's disco album was a number one in Australia, number one in the UK. Actually, it was the biggest number one of 2020. Just putting it out. Stefania, this knee, or Stefania, this last dance needs to be heard all around Europe. And you know what? I need a club mix for the Euro club, which is like at least nine minutes long. You cannot deny that she has matured and grown over the past year. Supergirl is now Superwoman, okay? You you could call her Dua Lipa-like. She's like a young Dua Lipa here in the sense that she's serving the, the vogue, the pose, the, the fashion, the looks, but the sound, sonically, this is that 80s updated for today. This is a great song. This is a great song. Again, the highest compliment you can pay is that it doesn't feel like three minutes, and this doesn't feel like three minutes. In fact, that video was four minutes, I believe, including the credits, and it just sped right by. She's very comfortable with this song. She's very, very comfortable. I think Supergirl was cute, this is a new day. This is a radio song. This is a mainstream radio song. You could hear in Greece, yes, but you could also hear elsewhere. They've done a really good job at, at what's the word, riding the current trends and giving us something for 2021. The video really suggests the ambition that they have here. Initially, when, when these waters start coming, you think, oh my goodness, the apocalypse is here now. Our girl needs to run. And she does run. She goes to the top of a building. And then you see a winged horse flying against the moon and she jumps on it. This is mythology. It is fantasy adventure. And yet it doesn't feel cheap. If you got that wrong, it would be really, really cheap looking. But the water rising on the city, it's actually terrifying. So then she takes her flash dance leap lands on the horse, and she takes us to another world. And now this is where it gets a little confused to me. Is it a dream? Is it real? Because in my mind, it's very real. But then of course, you know, she becomes one with the aliens who kind of, again, flag Greek mythology, the light, the white bodices, the, the struck, they look like, you know, those columns, like the Corinthian columns, they have that coloring, that kind of bright white, um, ancient Greece for today. It's just a lot to take in, but it's really well done. Presenting Greek mythology in a contemporary way is what I'm trying to say. I think this is absolutely brilliant. I love the blend of realism and fantasy. One minute, you know, she's on the road about, you know, I don't even know, she's so law abiding. Why on an empty street where there's absolutely no traffic, no human traffic, no motorists, you're still waiting for the traffic light to tell you to go green. Girl, I'll be gone. <laughs> But that, you know, that pause was a moment to reflect on, you know, where she might kind of just travel to and venture out to. What a beautiful message. What a great song. Keeps me moving, keeps me toe tapping. Oh my God, this is shot to my, God, of all the songs out at the moment, this is, this is swimming near the top. I'm loving this. And it becomes unclear, is it a disaster or has our girl been reborn? Has she returned to the world and to that street with new knowledge of the future? and what's coming? Was it a vision? There's so many different ways to interpret that. Musically, melodically, in terms of structure, I love this. It has a clear shape, it reaches a point, she gets to show off the voice towards the end in particular. It's got a vibe, you can move. I guess my one reservation is at times, I'm not so clear about the lyrics. I understand maybe 80%, but there's some moments in the verses where I, 
I kind of have to struggle. I don't think people often care about these things, um, but I'm sort of obsessed with lyrics, and so when I can't transcribe them instantly, I get annoyed, and I think with this I would struggle to transcribe everything. Um, but that can be fixed, that can be tweaked, that's just a matter of practice. I think what's important here is that they have the song, they have a performer who is infinitely more confident this year and who's just ready to attack, and then they've got some sort of visual, you would think, because I don't know if they'll translate this video to the stage directly, but they certainly have the ambition and they have a visual identity in mind. Rock and romance? Ah, uh, yes, the two go together. They're very complimentary. And in three minutes, she tells us that they should go together. Yeah, some people can say that, okay, she didn't write this song, you know, it was kind of manufactured for her and stuff like that. <laughs> Keep it real, music industry, that's what happens, you know? But it's about, okay, I've been given this. How can I market this? and she does it super 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 well i hope vocally that she can you know deliver at this level you know during the rehearsals and you know i don't know if there's going to be any eurovision parties uh but during live performances will we jam at home perhaps um yeah i really 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 like this love it in fact love it i think this is really promising i really think greece is going to the final and if they have epic staging they could do really well also, final point, and I teased this at the beginning of the video, during the pandemic, people have dealt with a lot. You know, loss of freedom, having to live a restricted life, loss of loved ones, not seeing their friends. And this idea of every end has a new beginning really comes through in this video. Um, I think people will identify with that. Even if you don't expressly, you know, break it down in those terms, there's a sense of her reclaiming something. There's a sense of her facing adversity and then at the end of it kind of having more knowledge and being able to walk down that street more confidently, even if she's a little tad confused about what just happened, because let's face it, if you had that dream or that vision or that alien light, you might be a little freaked out. But then she ends up, she's walking tall. She's still standing and she is ready to go. She is ready to go to Rotterdam. And the clever use of wind machine in that video where she's doing rock and roll Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This song fits her. This song fits her generation, but it pulls in people from other generations. And the 80s electro, can I just say anybody 40 plus is going to relate to this, like, straight up. You know, there are moments in your life when, you know, you think it's the end, but that end ends up signaling a new beginning. I mean, I've been to places before where, you know, I've had, like, you know, dates with friends where it's like, oh, let's meet up on such and such date and we do such and such a thing and then they call you 15 minutes before they're supposed to show up. Oh, in some cases, after they've shown up, and they're like, oh, Deb, I'm sorry, but I'm not coming anymore. And then you're there, like Billy No Mates. But those moments have led to me actually discovering new people, paying attention to things that I would have ignored if I had somebody around me. It's kind of enriched the experience. Okay, fine, you didn't show up, but guess what? Half a dozen more people did. And I've got new people in my life who will now show up to things when I ask them to, or we plan to. Do you know what I mean? Dance even if it is the end or seemingly the end. In any case, that's what we think. But what do you think? Are you loving Last Dance? Do you think this is a first step to the final? Do you think she will slay in the final? Let us know everything you're thinking in the comment section down below. Follow us on multiple social media platforms. We're on TikTok, so is Stephania. We're on Twitter, so is Stephania. We're on Instagram, so is Stephania. We're on Facebook. Stephania's on Facebook too, but you'll have to work harder to find her on that. Oh, and what do you think of the music video? Please tell me. Do you love this apocalyptic flood scene. Very Noah's Ark, except she's got a unicorn. Not a unicorn, there's no horn. She's got a flying horse. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.